All right guys, so today we're gonna to be doing some zone cleaning. We are going to set our timer for 15 minutes and we are going to get to work. Now throughout the week, I will be setting my timer a few times for 15 minutes so that we can see how much we can get done. We're gonna be working in zone one. For me, zone one is my entryway my laundry room and our office and also the hallways so that's what we're going to start with i do have a list and we are going to start at the top of the list and just kind of work our way down now it has been a while since i had a full-blown zone cleaning list but i decided that it was the beginning of the second half of the year and i was ready to really just make a list and get focused so what we'll be doing is just checking off each thing and i have my months labeled so that i can see exactly which months i did what you can do this however you would like for a long time when i zone cleaned i would just kind of pick four things to work on or i would just work for 15 minutes at a time or 30 minutes at a time and just do whatever seemed like it needed to be done so you can do this however you want but that's how i'm going to be tackling this today so i'm going to flip the camera around i'm going to show you my list and then we're going to get busy all right guys so here is a look at my list now you may be wondering what planner this is this is an erin condren monthly planner and i have just decided to keep my zone cleaning list in here so we're gonna start with zone one, which like I said, is my entryway, office, and laundry room. And you can see right here, I've got months going across. That way I can mark off that we did this for July or whatever month it is that we are working on this. So we're gonna start in the entryway. We're gonna start with dusting. We're gonna dust corners, wall decor. We're gonna detail dust furniture, wipe switches and plates clean glass on the storm door, wipe down doors and knobs, baseboards. I will not be shampooing rugs and then vacuum and then vacuum dust air returns. So let's just see how far we get. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be setting this stopwatch and I will stop after 15 minutes. So let's get started.
All right, so that took 13 minutes, 40 seconds. So we're gonna go mark some stuff off of our list. All right, so we're gonna mark off dust corners, dust wall decor, detail dust, furniture, wipes, switches, and plates. All right, so next day of zone cleaning, we're gonna start with the storm door and then I'm going to wipe down all the doors and knobs. I'm gonna be using a, a damp e-cloth for this, as well as the polishing e-cloth to get all the streaks off. And then I'm gonna use the same damp e-cloth to wipe down all the doors and knobs. So we're gonna start our timer and get to it. All right, so I've got one, two, three doors in this hallway. I'm just gonna set this up right here. Not sure how much you're gonna be able to see, but we're just gonna get it done. All right, I know this is super exciting stuff. And now we are going to do these doors. I've got one, two, three doors. That fourth door is where the air conditioner is. So we will get the vacuum out to do that one.
right guys so that took me almost 16 minutes to do that now one thing i want to point out and just remind you is that some of these things may take you a little bit longer so don't be discouraged if the task that you're doing takes longer than it takes me this is not the first time i have zone cleaned this house i have not been doing it every single month but i have been doing it pretty not regularly but sporadically but it has been getting done so that means that all the dust that was built up on my door where the air conditioner was i have done that before i have done that in the last couple of months if it has been six months or a year since you have done yours that dust may be piled on there thick and it may take a while if it has been a while since you have wiped down doors you may have lots of fingerprints that you're dealing with and it may take you a few minutes longer so do not be discouraged the beauty of zone cleaning is that the more frequently you do it the easier and faster it gets so that's all for today we will pick up with the next thing tomorrow all right guys so we're going to be starting day three of zone cleaning and zone one i forgot to mark these off so yesterday i did the switch plates and no i did the storm door and i wiped the doors and the knobs and then apparently i skipped baseboards i knew i wasn't going to do shampoo rugs there's just two really small rugs and i would rather do those when i'm already doing some bigger rugs just because it takes you know a few minutes to set up the shampooer and I wouldn't use all of the solution. So it just doesn't feel like the thing to do. I did dust or vacuum the air returns, like the one, the door that is in the hallway. So we are going to mark that off. So before we get to baseboards today, I did kind of want to touch on a couple things. I am not going to be doing my office on camera simply because this is really my husband's space and so i just don't like to show it as often so i'm not going to do the office this month i will do this a month when i'm not filming zone cleaning <laughs> what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump down here to the laundry room but before i do that i want to touch on a couple of office -y things all right so we're going to talk about paper storage and decluttering because i know that some people really struggle in this area i fall in that category so over the last several several months i don't really know exactly when i purchased this big box from target you can see it's a pretty good size it's got a lid on it i was planning to use this to kind of like organize mail and files and things but what ended up happening is this was too bulky this was not easy for me to take the lid off every day get mail put in and so it just wasn't working so I'm going to say that this is a better solution for things that are a little more long term. I don't think I like this for something that I need to get into on a regular basis. So the next thing I tried is a binder system. And basically what I was doing, and I can't really open this because it's got a lot of personal stuff in it. But you, I did show it though in another video. Basically what I did is I've got tabs for each month of the year and what i was doing is as mail would come in things that we needed to keep things that we needed to file rather than taking them to the office and filing them in the cabinet in there i was just putting them behind the monthly tab in here that way everything for the month was all together so when my husband paid bills or i needed to locate something or whatever this was here this is not a bad system i didn't dislike it it just wasn't exactly perfect enter the basket so let me just tell you guys that i have been trying to find a file basket like this for probably 10 years this is exactly what i have been picturing i just could not find one that wasn't ridiculously priced now i don't even know if target still has this i picked it up um, a little bit ago they should have it but this was like 20 bucks and so the file folders that i had originally purchased to go in here i moved to here and so i am getting ready to transfer these things to here 
The reason this is going to be a better system for me particularly is because in our entryway where I have that baker's rack where I keep this stuff, I am going to be able to go through mail. I can just put labels on these folders, stuff things in here very quickly. The reason it's going to work is because number one, there is no lid. I'm not having to hole punch things and put them in here. It's really just going to save me a few minutes and because it's going to save me a few minutes, it's going to be easy. So I am way more likely to stick to this. So none of these are bad options. You just have to find the option that works for you. Sometimes you have to keep trying different options. Now a lot of you, maybe you have a place in your kitchen or you have a place like a dedicated office where you have a place where you can do these things. I just know myself, I know that I need things to be extremely easy. I need these to be somewhere where I can just kind of throw this stuff in there as I'm coming in the door. That is why it is in our entryway and not all the way back in the office. So hopefully this will give you some ideas, some tips on some paper organization for you. All right, I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna get my timer and we are gonna go do the baseboards. All right, so before I tackle those baseboards, I came down here and I noticed that on my laundry room list, I also have um, clean baseboards. So I'm gonna go ahead and do both of these at the same time. I'm also going to clean behind the cart. I'm just gonna take my duster. I'm not gonna do anything super crazy because it will probably be about on its last leg. I'm just using a Swiffer and I'm just gonna use it to kind of dust behind there. So we are going to do baseboards from the entryway and we're gonna jump down here and do baseboards and behind the cart in the laundry room. All right, so let's set the timer.
guys. So when I'm done in here, I am going to run it a fresh cycle. I'm not going to do it yet because it'll be loud. But that is something that you should be doing is cleaning out your washing machine about every month or so. All right, so we did the baseboards. Then we did baseboards in the laundry room. It's hard for me to see what I'm doing through the camera. So baseboards, a clean behind the cart. I did straighten and dust the cart a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that off. And now I've got about, I think I have maybe five minutes left on my timer. So I think what I'm going to do, I want to save clean vacuum filters for last. I'll probably do that tomorrow. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the doors, switches, plates, and then tidy that shelf up a little bit. I couldn't really film that because there was no word of it the camera, but I took all the bins down. I dusted underneath them and just kind of did a quick like, just kind of make sure everything was kind of pushed down. I think I aggravated and kind of moved. I ended up moving some of these little plates on accident. But anyway, okay, so now let's see, time check. That set of stuff took 13 minutes and 30 seconds. So we're gonna call that done for today. All right, so we tidied shelf, wiped doors, switches, and plates. So let's check that off. So tomorrow, hopefully we can just do a quick vacuum mop and clean out the vacuum filters. I already did wipe down the washer and dryer. So we're gonna check that off as well. All right guys, so we are back for day four of zone cleaning. We are gonna set our timer again and we're not gonna work for more than 15 minutes. The thing that is so awesome about zone cleaning is that you really and truly can just chip away at your deep cleaning in just 15 minutes at a time. Now I've talked about this in other videos. Um, most, a lot of times I'll do 15 minutes just three or four days a week. Sometimes I only get in 45 minutes of zone cleaning in a week. That's okay. Um, sometimes I will do two days of 30 minutes, just depending on what my schedule looks like. Every now and then I will film an entire hour of zone cleaning all at one time, just get it done. I don't recommend that, but if that is how your schedule you know, works best for you, do what you gotta do. It is okay to just work for an hour, get it all knocked out and be done with it. Sometimes I do that just cause it makes it easier to film. But I'm trying to show you how you realistically can get all of your deep cleaning done in just 15 minutes a day. All right, so I'm gonna flip the camera around. We're gonna look at our list. I know you're just seeing this, but this is real time and I don't remember what is on the list for today. So we're gonna flip the camera around and we're gonna finish this week of zone cleaning out strong. All right, so here's my zone cleaning list. You can see I did add the clean cycle on washer to my list. I checked that off. So that leaves a vacuum mop and clean vacuum filters. So let's get this stuff knocked out. All right, so first things first, we are starting our timer and I'm gonna move everything off of the floor and then we are gonna mop.
right guys, so the floor's wet, so I'm gonna let this dry. Then I'll get everything put back. So now we're gonna go clean out my vacuum filters. All right, so first thing I'm doing is I'm gonna dump this in the trash can. And then I'm gonna pull these filters out. So I changed my angle just a little bit. In a perfect world, I would not have dishes in the sink, but this is not a perfect world. So you can see this is super dirty too. So I'm gonna kinda just scrub this out. I'm actually not gonna scrub it. I'm just gonna rinse it really good. Here's the filter. I added just a little bit of Dawn on there. I'm gonna rinse some really hot water. Then I'm just going to clean these out. All right, so my filters are just gonna stay right here on the counter. I'll probably get to them in the laundry room, but they need to dry completely overnight. Now I do wanna say, just because I use soap on mine does not mean that you should on yours. I don't really think it's recommended by the manufacturer. It's just something that I do. I just try to make sure that I get all the soap out. I haven't ever had any trouble, but like I said, that is not manufacturer instructions. That's just what Nikki does, so if you do that, please do that at your own risk. Follow your manual. All right, so we're gonna mark a few things off. We're gonna mark off clean vacuum filters, vacuum and mop, and that means that in 15 minutes at a time for four days, I got all of my entryway done, minus shampoo rugs, and all of the laundry room done. So like I said, another month that I'm not filming zone cleaning, I will just work on the office. And I should be able to do all of that in one week as well. All right, so I forgot to start my timer when I was doing my filters, but it took me three minutes and almost 44 seconds to do the vacuuming and mopping. And then on my camera, it showed that it took me four minutes to clean out the filters. So less than 10 minutes today for the last day. All right, so we're done zone cleaning and zone one. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this showed you that zone cleaning does not have to be difficult. It does not have to take a lot of time. Set your timer, work 15 minutes at a time, and you will be surprised how much you can get done. All right guys, thanks again for watching. If you're new to my channel and not already subscribed, please consider subscribing down below. Follow me on Instagram, follow my planner channel, follow my planner Instagram, all the things. I hope you guys know that I appreciate it so very much. All right, that's all I've got for you today and I will see you soon.